for years, you really couldn't tell people that you weren't okay. It was right. like a weird thing. It, it was, there was a destigmatized aspect to it that's come within the past few right. years where you can openly talk about depression and anxiety totally, totally. now. Um, what are your just thoughts on that idea and that theme of like, it's okay to not be okay sometimes? You know, I love I love that thought, man. One of the coolest things I think um, has like come out of it or sort of like come out of the collective conversation that it kind of like brings to light for everyone and for young people too, uh, is things like that, you know, uh, destigmatizing things that for so long we just like, you know, like we grew up and that was not something that would be sure. necessarily supported at like, you know, your middle school or something or like, you know, and I think it's so uh, incredible that like kids are coming up now and being so aware of these things from such a young age and so open about them and so free to express them. It's one of my favorite things about like, kind of where we're at right now and where we're going. And uh, and I do think that weirdly, like social media has a lot to do with that. Like I understand that there's yeah. also its own issues that definitely come with it as well. But I feel like that sort of conversation that like, I don't know, that universe has made it sort of more possible to um, have people freely express that or to know that it is okay or to see others that are like feeling the same way as them. You know what I mean? It's just like, um, so I, I think that that's like a huge positive uh, of it. So I love that you pointed that out. That you have a Twitter, but don't have an Instagram. And I was wondering like, is, it, what's the, the thought process there? Is it, is it to limit yourself on social? Like, I'm curious how, the, how you came to that conclusion. The Twitter thing I think was like made for me, you know, when I was like 18 and first about to be on a show. And then uh, I think I was horrified at the first few tweets that they'd sent out on my behalf. And I was like, I, I was like, give me that, give me, give me, I'll take control of it. Uh, so that's just the one I've always had, I guess. And then, yeah, and I don't have Instagram. I mean, I'm on Instagram, like I follow like accounts. It's not like I don't uh, have an Instagram. It's just, I guess I've just never really uh, known what I would post or I don't know. It just is never, maybe I will one day. I don't know. It just, uh, I just haven't so far.